there are a lot of questions and um, that's kind of how a lot of these um, courthouse weddings um, end up on, as my clients is they are looking for more information. There isn't a ton of information online on their website, um, either the courthouses or the county clerk's website. So um, I'm just here to clarify a few things for you. I'm going into the courthouse today for another courthouse wedding and um, I wanted to walk you through the process a little bit. They do weddings Monday through Friday every every weekday um, at 11.30. You check in at 11.30. Usually uh, you have to wait a little bit um, depending on what if the court, courtrooms are available or not. First thing you do when you go in at 11.30 though is you'll go to the law library which is on the second floor and they there you will um, pay your $10 um, for the ceremony fee or whatever it is. Um, they will send you to the correct courtroom, whatever courtroom they're using that day, um, which and tell you whichever judge it is. And then um, usually you have to sit outside the courtroom and wait just a few minutes. Here are some things you need to know prior to your wedding. Uh, be sure to call ahead and reserve your date. They schedule weddings up to six weeks in advance. You will need to visit the Brookings Center before your wedding to get your marriage license. Uh, you'll need to go there at least one day before your wedding day, um, so you have to go there in advance. Um, your wedding license costs $75 and uh, they do not take walk-ins, so make sure you call ahead and make an appointment there as well. Both parties must appear in person with an ID. Um, if you you know happen to walk here or take the bus or something, there are lockers across the street at the sheriff's office where you can um, leave personal belongings um, and they'll be safely stored while you're in the courthouse. Cameras are allowed at the courthouse only for weddings. You will need to go through a metal detector and take everything out of your pockets. They are currently allowing two weddings per day um, with COVID restrictions. Um, it used to be, I think they would do up to four. Um, so now they're doing two a day. Um, you go to the law library and check in, you pay your $10 fee, and then they send you to sit outside of your, court, your courtroom uh, to wait for the judge to be available. Different judges have different days of the week, so you never quite know who you're gonna get until you get there. You don't know which courtroom you'll be in, but it's not a big deal. They're all roughly about the same. <laughs> Weddings all take place between 11.30 and 12, 12.15 usually. Um, and whatever waiting time we have before the ceremony or after the ceremony, I use to um, do portraits in the hallways. There's some really good light. Um, you can actually see the windows up there. There's like the arched window is a really good one for light if you're on the third floor. The second floor also has some good rectangular windows. Um, and there's some nice um, columns and hallways that are good for like walking pictures and things like that too. But the ceremony is short and sweet. It's usually five minutes, very short. Um, they do, you know, short vows. You exchange rings if you have them. They pronounce you as a couple. Um, and then you um, sign the marriage license if you hadn't already done that. And then they send you on your way. That's really it. So, um, and then whatever remaining time we have with my hour, um, I, my, my courthouse weddings are about an hour, whatever time we have left in that hour, we'll use for portraits. I like to do a photo of you in the elevator and I like to do a photo with the Champaign County seal, um, which is right as you enter the courthouse. Uh, we'll usually go around the courthouse. You can see the really pretty brick over here, or we'll go downtown Urbana down the block and do a few pictures. Um, we usually have about, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes for pictures at the end of the ceremony. Um, you do also have the option with me to add on an extra hour or two. Um, sometimes I have people do another hour because they want to go off site. They want to go to, you know, the Arboretum, the Japan house. They want to go on campus. Um, whatever the place may be, um, sometimes people add on an extra hour to get have time to do that other stuff like that. The last tip is a bonus parking tip. Um, there are lots of metered spots around the courthouse on the side streets. I usually park at the street coming straight out from the front doors of the courthouse, which I believe is Walnut. Um, there are a few spots on this main street in front of the courthouse. And then there's also a lot, which will be on the left side of the courthouse over here. And then just across the street on that side of the courthouse, there's also a parking garage. So that's how you get married at the courthouse. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment below um, or you can uh, message me on socials. I'm on, I'm at Holly Birch Photo on Facebook and Instagram. And um, you can also email me or contact me through my website, which is hollybirchphotography.com. So that's it. Congratulations on your wedding and happy marrying.